Peace. Call me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual YMCA. My name is Jen. I am here for Linda today for our Studio Strength class. I am glad to be back in person here. Maybe you have taken a boot camp class or a Forever Well class with me in the past. It's great to be back here in our virtual space, especially on a cold day like today in Minnesota. I have a pair of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells handy for you, you certainly can use something like a milk jug, um, soup cans, or a few things that I have planned. We also have just body weight. I also have some water because it's always important to stay hydrated. So first things first, we're going to start with an easy cardio warm up just to get head to toe, body parts moving, blood flowing, energy spiking. We're going to do triads today. So sets of three. It'll be giant sets or triad sets. Three moves, three times through. We'll narrow it down and focus on certain body parts so that we can leave feeling like we've worked total body strength. I want you to step side to side. A little lateral movement here. Hands can be on the hips. Smiles on the faces. Good, give me eight more here. Right and left. You can always let me know where you're joining me from too in our chat. Are you watching from your living room, from your basement? Maybe out on your deck. Stand in place, let's roll those shoulders backwards one at a time, right? And left. If today, when we go through our moves, something doesn't feel so hot, I want you to modify, or I want you to make some changes if you need to. Let's reverse those shoulder rolls, bring them forward. Part of studio strength or having a strong body is making sure we work opposing muscle groups and head to toe, not just focus on one muscle group. But sometimes due to previous injuries or some um, differences in our strength, something might not feel so good. Let's bring those hands up to the head. I want you to do a gentle twist. So remember to always honor your body is the message I'm giving you. That should feel good, opening through the spine, a little bit of rotation. Two more. We're gonna reach down, ankles, hips, overhead. So this might be one of the moves that you're like, ooh, I'm not quite ready yet. Maybe it's knees, hips, overhead. When you're hinging, think about sticking that backside out behind you, having a nice gentle bend in the knees, creating space in the lungs. Looking good, team. Couple more here. Let's take those feet wide. Easy, lean to the right. Lean to the left. So body temperature might be on its way up. Perhaps you're breathing a little heavier. Those are all great signs that your body's getting ready to work. Let's do two more here. If it feels okay with you, I'm gonna ask you to roll down, have those hands on the floor. Right foot on the floor, left arm opens up. 
Maybe you're supporting yourself on your thigh instead. Let's switch hands. Let's go back to that right side one more time. And left side. Support yourself as you roll back up. Come back to that march with me. Let's turn this into a side to side step touch, right and left. So our body's saying, okay, okay, I'm ready. Maybe not quite yet, maybe you need one more minute. We'll stick with it one more minute. Let's add a little bit of a twist, yep. Hands don't have to be at the head, they could be at the hips. Maybe they reach across the body. But when we can get strong and warmed up with our rotation, that really allows us a great range of motion for other parts of the body. Team, plant your feet. Easy squat up and down. Down and up. In case you weren't breathing heavy before, I'll tell you what, squats. Guaranteed to get that lung capacity pushing. We'll see these again with weights, but a body weight squat, squat excuse me, is an awesome way to warm up. Stand tall, one more time with those shoulders. Backwards first, almost exaggerate, pulling the shoulder blade behind you. I'm gonna use the cue thinking about magnets later. Let's reverse them, go forward. Like your shoulder blades are two magnets and they're attracted to each other. Good. Two more. All right, that completes our warm up. I want you to check in. I want you to see if your shoes are good and tied, if you're wearing some shoes today. If you need to roll out a mat or get those hand weights within um, grabbing distance, please do. We're gonna start with core, three core exercises. We're gonna start with a plank actually. So you can be on your hands or your knees, hands or your toes, elbows, knees. You could also be up against a wall or up against a table if that feels okay too. So let's set ourselves up for a strong, firm foundation. I like to come on my hands. I feel like I get a little more bang for my buck with my real estate here. All right, team, timer's on. So if you have a mirror or a place where you can see your reflection, you can check on things like, is your backside up in the air? Shift it down. But if it's down like this, shift it to the middle. Maybe you're on your elbows. Hopefully you're breathing. Nice work, team. We're halfway there. I like to pull my belly button in. And here's where you can think about those shoulder blades being magnetically pulled towards each other to help keep those shoulders safe. Four, three, two, we flip over, we flip over. We've got leg lowering options here, both legs. I'm gonna go one at a time. You come as low as you want to. As low as feels comfortable, I guess I should say. So think about keeping that low back engaged and pressed into the floor. Here's an opportunity to really relax your neck. Maybe you try both legs. Doesn't have to be a huge dip. Looking good, team. 10 seconds of work here. We will trade our leg lowers for a reverse crunch. We'll kick that ceiling. We'll blow through the ceiling. Three, two, one. Heels up. It is a gentle or little just hip lift. Peel that tailbone off the floor. You might use those palms for a little bit of a push. Good, think about something that you gotta reach on the ceiling. Maybe knees need to stay bent, either for comfort or for some safety. Certainly an option. How are we feeling so far? 10 seconds here, we do them all again. Beautiful work, team. It's not a huge movement, is it? But ooh boy, you can feel it really firing up. Three, two, 
one. Find yourself back to your plank. You're going to be on your elbows this time, maybe your knees. Second time through, four, three, two, let's do it. I'll come down to my elbows. You can join me here if you want to. When I have my forearms on the floor, I am thinking about pressing into those uh, bones, my radius and my ulna. I'm really pressing into them and using the ground as energy. If you feel again like your backside is sagging or up in the air, make some adjustments. 10 seconds. Keep smiling. Three, two, one on our backs. Leg lifts and lowers. Sometimes I like to put my hands under my tailbone and make a little triangle. Here we go. That just kind of helps me feel grounded and supported. Maybe both legs. So our body is one big system of levers. We are using our levers to push, to pull, twist, rotate. When we lift and lower a lever, something has to give somewhere else, right? Or some strength has to come in. 10 seconds here. So the longer our levers, the more work gets placed on those body parts. Good work, team. Three, two, one. Up to that ceiling. Ooh, yes. Or knees can be bent. It's just a little curl. It's not a huge, not a huge leg swing like this. That would be more momentum. I'm asking you to dig deep. Those deep abdominal muscles. Think about the muscles that help you when you cough or laugh or sneeze. Imagine those guys or gals tight and strong. So it's not a huge maneuvering muscle, but those transverse abdominals really help keep us, keep our posture. 10 seconds here, friends. Then we will transition. Two more, two more. Excellent job. Roll yourselves up. Maybe you got to give a little stretch, a little twist. Drink a water if you need one. We move into some upper body, specifically shoulders. So medium weights, if you've got more than one set, I've got the purple ones today because they match my purple shirt, which is not always the best reason to pick some weights, but purple's my all-time favorite color. Weights in the hands, we've got some shrugs, my friends. So we warmed up with some shoulder rolls. Again, here's those magnets, up and down. I'll let you in on a secret that's not really a secret. When we get stressed out, or we spend a lot of time at our desk, this is how we carry those shoulders. We get short, tight uh, neck muscles, uh, weaker mid-back muscles. So we wanna work through a full range of motion. If you're thinking about the back side, it's a squeeze up and back and then down. Imagine carrying two heavy grocery bags. Saying, I don't know how I bought all this stuff made it in my cart. 10 seconds here. Breathe. Excellent work. Let's get two more. Oh yes. We're gonna turn this into a bent over row. Remember those soft knees we had earlier? Tip forward like you're drinking out of a water fountain. Here's more magnets. Arms pull behind us. Couple options. My elbows are coming straight behind me. If this feels totally doable for you and you want something different, turn your palms towards you. Elbows come wide. So either way, straight behind you or wide. It's the same joint action, just a different plane of motion. And breathe. Think about those magnets pulling towards each other. My eyes are looking about two feet in front of me so that way I can assure that my spine is in line. Good work, team. 10 seconds here. One more. Good, stand it up. Big shoulder shrug back. We've got an upright row. This can be a very beneficial, very um, targeted muscle exercise. However, if you have some shoulder issues that don't feel good, we can be right here without weights. 
Our arms weigh on average 17 pounds as an adult arm. So the arms themselves, we're already lifting weights. So you maybe don't need extra weight. If you are using extra weight, the elbows should always come up before anything else. So I don't want to see the wrist here and the elbow here. I want a nice tall pull. I'm in a kickstand stance. That helps me feel a little more grounded. Always an option to do one at a time, team. Great stuff. How is that core? Zipped up. Let's get two more. Woo, shake it out. We're back to our shrugs, second time through. You'll get to try to maybe get those e uh, shoulders a little higher or down a little lower. Feet planted. Let's begin. So it is not just you bringing your shoulder up to your ear. It is the whole shoulder girdle compound sliding up the spine and back down again. We have so many muscles in our back. They crisscross each other. They do help us bring our arms in and out, forward and backward, push and pull. So a shrug can really reach quite a few of those muscles that are crisscrossing each other. Great work here, 10 seconds. Whew. And strength training doesn't always have to be huge weights and large movements. Two more. Nice job. Let's bend over. Sometimes it is a small, minute movement, but just in the right spot that really fires up and asks those muscles to hold that contraction. Remember your other option, if you wish, is elbows coming a little wider. So they can be tucked in towards your back, a little more back shoulder here, a little more rhomboids. Maybe you didn't know you were gonna get an anatomy lesson today too. It's a good party trick, keep it coming. Let's get four more. Great work. Standing tall after that last one. Upright row, zip it up. Body stays tall, elbows are the first thing that comes up. And they don't have to come to elbow or to shoulder height. They might be right here. Or you might be weightless. Just using body weight. That is A-OK. -okay. So shoulders are gonna get a little rest. Chest will be next. Whoo. Nice work here. Let's struggle through last 10 seconds. Hopefully you have a weight that's appropriate enough that it's feeling heavy, not so heavy that you're ending up having to cheat and kind of bump yourself up, but not so light that uh, last one here that you could do it all day long. Come on down, quick drink if you need. Three chest exercises, two of them on our back and then good old fashioned push-ups. We've got a chest press and a chest fly. So if you do have two sets of weights, you certainly can have them both close. I'm gonna stick with my sevens. Palms face away from you. My feet are planted. You could also have your feet up for a bit more balance work. Elbows are gonna come wide and then press up. Like you're reaching through the ceiling. Come with me when you're ready. So my elbows are almost grazing the floor. Maybe you have a bench in your workout space at home. You could be up on that bench. And that allows those arms to come just a little lower. We don't have to worry about coming any farther than 90 degrees or a little more than 90, because that starts to put a bit of pressure on that front side of the shoulder. Looking good here, team. I like to exhale when I push up. So breathe in, breathe out. And I always notice that one arm is a little more wobbly than the other. So that's why I like to do dumbbell work. Because with the barbell, let's get two more. Good, with the barbell, the weight usually works with the dominant hand. Let's flip those palms towards each other, maybe readjust through the backside. Arms open wide, no elbow bend this time. Or there might be just a soft bend, but it is a full straight arm chest fly. Wrap your arms around the person you love the most. Give them a nice big bear hug. So now we've gone from chest and triceps working together to now really focused on upper part of the pecs or the chest. 
and the front side of the deltoid, front side of the shoulder. Perhaps you don't come down as far, that's a-okay. Remember to breathe and take notice. How is that right arm compared to that left arm? Let's get three more in here, team. Yes, last one. Up you come, we're gonna flip over. A couple choices for push-ups, knees, toes. Maybe it's a tabletop push-up. Maybe you enjoy doing push-ups up against a wall or on your kitchen counter. That works too. I'm gonna come on my knees for my first chance through. Ready, let's begin. So hands can be lots of different positions for chest press. If you've had other personal trainers or group fitness instructors tell you be wide or be narrow, I kind of let my hands fall where they may and then I see what kind of energy do I feel like I'm getting from the floor. So if my hands are really wide, I'm like, oh, that doesn't feel so great. Or if they're really narrow and I feel the elbows pinching. So it's kind of a your choice of what feels like you can manage. Good work here. 10 seconds, let's do it. Three more, you got them. Breathing, breathing. Yeah, last one. Back to our backs, down on the floor. Second time through, if you wish. Maybe you have your hips elevated. Weights in the heels. All right, team. Let's press. Maybe the first time through, you said, oh, those weights are too light. Go up a pound if you've got it. I know one of the benefits of being in a fitness center is the plethora of weights, right? And uh, they're expensive, so it's not like you're gonna buy five, six, sevens, eights, tens, twelves, fifteens, twenties, twenty-fives to all have at home. But if you have a few go-tos, let's get four more here. You can get creative and really uh, still strengthen your body, even with just body weight. Last one here, team. Woo, turn those palms in. Maybe the hips stay up, maybe they come back down, maybe the feet come up. Let's open wide. Taking notice, my left arm feels way stronger than my right. So I'm gonna send a little energy to the right arm. Big squeeze. So what I'm saying is you do not need to go buy weights in every denomination. Sometimes it just means you do a few more reps if lights, weights are a little lighter, if you have an at-home practice. Or then you work on, okay, what's my range of motion? Or can I go slower sometimes? Slower is a struggle. Let's get two more. When things get heavy, we want to go fast and get them done, right? The slower you go, the more gravity is acting on you. Good work. Finish up here. Push-up, second set. Maybe you're saying, Jen, this is my first class today. I haven't done push-ups in 20 years. What's a great way to start for me? How about right here in a tabletop and you just practice lowering and pushing yourself away? Then you can graduate from that to your knees. The whole idea behind a push-up is that you are an independent mover. I don't know if there's anybody out there who wants to rely on somebody else to get them up, right? Keep coming with those push-ups no matter what they look like. A push-up is a good push-up if you can push yourself away. Good, keep it coming, keep it coming. Even if you're here for your tabletop, you are building strength and confidence in maneuvering your body through time and space. Let's get two more. Excellent work, finish up that last one. Nice job, team. Drink if you need it. We're gonna stay on the floor, move from chest to hips. So our hip complex helps with um, walking, standing. Hip extension is a move that uh, gets overlooked sometimes because we do a lot of flexation sitting with our knees bent. So to strengthen part of the low back, the glutes, hamstrings. Keep your weights handy or no weights if you want. We're gonna go back to on the floor, we're gonna lift those hips up. So this can be a bridge with weight or no weight. Maybe you roll those shoulder blades back. Maybe even close your eyes and enjoy it. Let's press through the heels, team. Up and down. So I'm feeling activation. 
high up in my hamstring where my hamstrings attach kind of through my pelvic bone. Under the knees, I'm even feeling a little work in my calves, pressing through my heels. If you don't want the weights on, certainly don't have to. Nice job here. Think about a string that pulls your belly button up. Exhale. Great work, team. You might say, Jen, I'm not sweaty. Let's get two more. You don't have to be sweaty. Maybe you're saying, Jen, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Great job here. I'm gonna scoot to the middle. One or two weights overhead, we've got a pullover. You're gonna keep those arms as straight as you can. They lower over the head, they engage. So we are engaging through the back side of the core here. If this feels pretty light and you want a little more challenge, you can certainly have one in each hand. You could also have your legs up. But first and foremost, this is a back exercise. I know I said we were doing hips, but since we were down here, I threw a back one in as well. So I'm feeling the work happening under my armpit and it runs all the way down and connects to the top of that, the back of that hip bone or your pelvis, your pelvic girdle. Good, let's get three more. Sometimes people wanna turn this into a crunch and leave their, their head up. Nope, this is a back exercise. Pull over, last one. It can be hard to get a lot of exercises in for the latissimus dorsi muscles if you don't have a pull-up machine or a lat pull-down machine. We're flipping over to our back sides. Excuse me, front sides. We've got a swimmer, opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, working hip extension and a little spinal extension. If this doesn't feel good for you because your hip bones are poking into the floor, here's another option. A cross body lift or a bird dog exercise. The goal of both of these is not to reach as high as you can be, but to reach long. So my middle fingers point to the horizon, my toes point to the horizon. My neck is as relaxed as it can be. Good, 15 seconds here. Remember when I talked about not everything has to be a huge movement? This would be one of those examples. It is a small movement, but it's a long lever. Let's get four more. Looking good. Nice team, last one. We are back to our backs. Turn on over, hip lifts. Second time with that hip bridge. Weights can be on the bridge or on the hips, they don't have to be. Digging through those heels. Let's begin. Exhale and inhale. So I'm squeezing my glutes, squeezing my butt cheeks as I push, leading from the belly button. And I feel work running down the back side of the body, which is great to strengthen through the hips and hamstrings because many of us are pretty quadricep dominant. So I'm not saying you're gonna be more prone to injury, but when we have imbalances between the two sides, we might do things, or our body might do things that uh, aren't the most, I don't even wanna say efficient, but we can, we can hurt ourselves when we don't have even strength. Two more here. Nice job, team. Pull over, pull over. You know what? It might just even be for you, arms overhead, too, a little range of motion. Or maybe you say, Jen, I'll come with you and do something a little heavier. Let's go. Ooh, yes. 14 pounds is a way bigger difference. I really feel that engaging under the armpits, whoo, through the low back. My chest is still talking to me from those push-ups. <laughs> So what we're doing is kind of systematically fatiguing body parts. So that when we move, we have to dig a little deeper, work a little harder to get that nice full range of motion. Good work here, team. Let's get three more. 
Is your head relaxed on the floor? Woo. We are over for swimmers or your cross body lift. I'll remind you what the cross body lift looks like. Hands and knees. It is a gentle reach. Again, to the horizon, not up. Or you can be laying on your belly and pretend you're swimming somewhere lovely. Besides your kitchen floor, maybe. <laughs> Working on extension through the hips, the glutes, and then our erector spinae muscles. They run all the way up the two sides of the spinal column or our spine to help us with a little extension and hyperextension of the back. Great job, team. Keep breathing. 10 seconds here. Good. Three, two, one. Woo, push it back. Grab a drink. We have two more triads. Then we put everything together. If you've ever been to a class of mine before, you know I don't just leave you hanging with uh, sets of two. Usually I like to do things in sets of three, so we're gonna have one big giant set at the end. It's probably about time we pay attention to the legs, huh? Squats, lunges, and calf raises. Weights or no weights? I'm gonna go no weights my first time through. Body weight squat, we started here with a warm up. You could have weights up on the shoulders. You could have weights uh, in a suitcase. You could hold one weight in a goblet hold right at your clavicle. All right, team, timer is on. Let's go. When I am squatting, hips push behind me, thighs get pretty close to parallel. This is all gonna depend on your joint angles, how much mobility you have. I like to let my elbows touch my knees so then I know that I'm keeping my chest tall. When we get tired, we might be here. Zip it up. Think about your body like an elevator. It drops and it stands. Great work, team. Let's get four more. Two. One. We go into lunges. You could have weights in your hands or right here. I'm going to do a reverse lunge, alternating sides. You could go forward. You could walk around your space. So maybe your forward lunge looks like this. There's nothing inherently better or worse about either of these. When I go backwards, it's because I like to practice trusting my body moving backwards. I bet many of us would feel kind of out of sorts if we were walking backwards around our house, right? It's not natural, but it's a great way to practice proprioception stability. Two more. One more each side calf raises. Weights can be on the shoulders. Weights can be in the hands. Up and down. Let's do it. Exhale. Inhale. So we are feeling work through the back side of the leg. You're also challenging your balance by coming up on those toes, spreading through your toes, the arch of your foot lifts, your heel lifts. Nice job, everybody. Maybe you did first set without weights like me, second set you want to come through with weights. Totally great. Whoa. Let's get three more. Ooh, shake it out. Second set, squats, lunges, calf raises. I'm going to hold them up here so I really look matchy matchy. All right, team, let's begin. Or maybe you have a barbell at home. You can definitely put it across your back to do a back squat or across your front to do a front squat. When we have weight up here, same thing might apply. We might want to tip forward because the weight wants to pull us. Keep that weight in the back side of the body. Don't let the chest overrule the back. Looking good here. Let's get three more. We transition into lunges. Shake it out, decide where you're gonna go. I'll go 
kitty corner to the front here this time. Whenever you step with a lunge, whether it's forward or backward, think about that front leg as your spring. It's like a slinky. It opens, it pushes back. And if you're watching and you don't know what a slinky is, talk to somebody who was a child in the 80s or earlier. <laughs> it's just a, a coil of metal all wrapped up, but you could put it down the steps. <laughs> Two more each side here. Hours of fun. You could wear it as a bracelet. Last one, I like to pretend that I was Cindy Lauper or uh, one of the girls from the Bangles. Madonna with their fancy bracelets. Calf raises here, great work. If you want a bit more of a challenge for your calf raises, load those arms, lock the elbows. We're gonna see this with our final triad. Woo! Good work team, three more. Oh yeah, set them down. Okay, you might say, Jen, we haven't done any biceps, triceps. You're right, that's how we're gonna finish. We're gonna have a bicep curl, palms facing us into a shoulder tilt. Bicep curl into shoulder tilt, overhead triceps, and then a three point balance. So let's get to it. Join me when you're ready. It looks like this. We curl, we tilt, and we're back down. This keeps the bicep muscle engaged the whole time in contraction. And it's not a shoulder lift, and it's just a tilt. It's as if somebody put fingertips under our elbows and just raised them up a little bit. Good, breathe, breathe, lift. Breathe, lift. Looking smooth. Three more here. Last one, we will go to triceps. I'm gonna do an overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna use just one weight. You certainly can use two weights. You certainly could also be here for a kickback. But we haven't done a lot of overhead stuff and as long as your shoulders agree with that, let's do it. Elbows stay close to the head and neck stays long. Sometimes when we do triceps, we wanna have our head come forward because we think the weight needs to come back here. That's putting our spine out of alignment. Let gravity pull it down, push it back up. Notice I'm in my kickstand stance again. That just helps me feel secure, gives me a little more real estate. Keep that smiling coming. All right, I don't know about all of you, but now I am feeling like I'm glistening. A little warm. Three more. I'm gonna invite you to keep this up overhead. It takes some work. Lock those shoulders in, standing on the right foot. Oh, how far can you lean and hold it? Maybe you say, Jen, that I'm feeling sharp shooting pain in my shoulders. Then come down here. I would rather have you tip a little bit farther but not have to worry about having that, those arms overweight. Breathe. We're just gonna do this side for our first time through. Whoo. Four, three, two, one. Ah, bicep curl into shoulder tilt, second chance. Shoulders roll back, abs are on. Curl and tilt. So it's like a chin up, right? Like you're hanging onto a bar, giving a little chin up action. If you were also a child of the 80s or before, actually I don't know if they still do the presidential fitness tests or not, but the women did the flexed arm hang. The men would do pull-ups. What a racket. Actually, I think it was pretty hard in seventh grade to do the flexed arm hang. I remember doing that. A wall sit, push-ups, sit-ups, sit and reach, the shuttle run, the mile. Two more. The funniest part was you would do that, and then did you ever do anything the rest of the semester to get better at those things? <laughs> nope, we'll just test you again. Triceps. What's nice about working with a personal trainer coming to fitness classes is you work on the things that you want to get better at, right? How are those elbows? Are they staying pretty close to the head? Keep breathing. Let's get three more here. And 
hand. Hold that up if you can. Left foot is grounded. Oh, breathing. Hold here. Everything's working. Ankle stabilizers, our obliques, our shoulders. 10 seconds, you got this. I'm gonna give us a quick water break, then we're gonna put them all together one more time, team. Four, three, two, one. Come on down, shake it out. Whoo, wet the palate a little bit if you need to. We started with a plank, leg lowers, reverse crunches, shrugs, bent over rows, upright row, chest press, fly. We're gonna fly through this. We've got five minutes of work left. So get your space set up. We start with the plank. Decide how that's gonna look for you for your last time. Maybe it's knees, maybe it's toes, elbows, hands. Maybe you're up against a wall holding yourself there. All right, friends. Five seconds, we'll start. Four, three, two, let's go. Whoo. From plank, we'll flip right over and do our leg kind of scissors motion or the leg lower and lift. Halfway with this plank. Good focus here. So five more minutes of toughness. We got it in us. Four, three, two. Over to your backside. Hands perhaps under your tailbone if that feels okay. Maybe it's both legs this time. Maybe you're feeling ready to do a bit more of a challenge. Can you honor that low back though? Keep that low back pressed in as much as you can. Four more here, team. Finish up your last one. A little hip lift, a little reverse crunch. Good. I know it's hard to not let your upper body scoot along with you. Shrugs will be next. Four more. I don't know how you're feeling. My, my body is vibrating in a good way. Like there's a lot of energy there, but it's fatigued. Shrugs we come. It's saying, okay, Jen, I am right on that precipice of fatigue. Precipice was one of my crossword puzzle words yesterday. Four more. Bent over rows will be next. Good work. Whoo, squeeze out that last one. Soft bend in the knees. Eyes look forward. Pull those elbows back. Rock on, rock on. Good, keep it coming. Upright rows are next, four more. Woo, stand tall. One arm or both arms, or maybe no weights. Maybe one foot in front of the other for a little bit of support. Nice work, chest is next. Chest press, chest fly, and push-ups. Team. Three minutes of work. Three more here. Two. Come on down. When you're ready and situated, elbows wide. Oh yeah, my arms said, that's right. You already did a few sets of these. Doesn't it feel great though to challenge our bodies? Even if it's just a little bit to say, come on, you got four more than you think you do. It is awesome to see progress. And I think the best part is seeing your strength grow. One more. Meet me at the top. Turn this into a chest fly. Palms face each other. When maybe you can pick up the groceries or the suitcase or the laundry basket, or you can move some furniture, or you can shovel. And you're like, gosh, I could have kept going. Or my, I'm not sore afterwards. All awesome things that come from working our bodies and pressing ourselves 
into a little bit of a challenge. One more, meet me at the top. Turn it over, push-ups. What do you got last time through? Come on, I'm right here with you. Whew. Good job. Hips are gonna be next. I'm gonna keep us over our time. I wanted to make sure we got all our body parts though. Two more. Good work. Flip it over, hip lifts, pullovers, swimmers. Begin. Press in through the heels. Good work, team. Also an option for no weights. Four more here. One weight overhead, two weights overhead. Breathing. Big exhale. When you pull against that weight, a natural inclination is to hold our breath when it gets heavy. I want you to breathe out when it gets heavy so you can exhale through that exertion. Two more here. Ugh. Nice push, everybody. Flip it over. You've got a swimmer or a all fours. Back and arm extension. Let's do it. You could be down on your tummy with the gentle swimming reach. Or here's another option for a little more balance work. Good job, good job. That's the end of our tunes but we'll keep working here. We've got two body parts left or two triads left. Four more. Three, two, and squats when you're ready. Come on up from those squats. Weights on the shoulders, no weights. I will get us uh, back to one more song. Let's see, we like this one. I like them all. Let's do it. Maybe you're snapping as you're squatting. Four more here. We'll go right into lunges. Nice job, team. Reverse lunges, forward lunges. Maybe it's a walking lunge. Sink the hips, push back or push away. Keep the abs strong. You're looking great, way to finish here with me team. Less than a minute. Minute and a half. <laughs> Two more. Calf raises. Woo! Remember I invited you to lift those arms up if you wanted to for your calf raise? <sighs> Strength. Or just body weight. If you are on steps, what's nice is you can let your heels drop lower. Nice push. Two more. Finish it up. Bicep curl into a tilt. Maybe it's one arm at a time. Notice how my arms are just tilting at the shoulders. When that bicep stays contracted the whole time, get a little more time under tension. Great work. Looking smooth, everybody. Two more. Triceps are next. Overhead, if that feels okay. I'm gonna show the kickback. So if this is your first time you've done, excuse me, some tricep exercises, 
Elbows stick like glue. We push straight behind. You are certainly invited to go overhead if you wish. This is the same idea, an extension through the elbow, but just a different plane of motion and it's not overhead. Let's get four more. Two more. Keep it up here. Breathe. 10 seconds each side, friends. Oh, maybe you go a little deeper. Four, three, two, come back. Set it up. This is it, this is it. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Set it down. Give yourselves a round of applause. I've kept you five extra minutes, but hopefully you are feeling really great. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you back soon. Have a great day. Thanks for being part of the virtual Y. Bye-bye.